Dana. And a Fox News alert, Blue Origins flight that is going to take Star Trek's Captain Kirk to space. It's on hold. We are still at least 45 minutes away from launch. William Shatner, who turned 90 earlier this year, is about to make history as the oldest man to go to space. Let's bring in former NASA astronaut Mike Massimino and Neil Cavuto, who interviewed Shatner earlier this week. Neil, one of the things that's interesting to me about this is that as I understand it, you know, space travel has always been for the very young and the very fit. Right, right. And Shatner is very mentally and physically active at 90, but this is really fulfilling a vision that people have had for a long time, that, that regular people could also go to space. I'm just delighted to hear that you don't have to be very fit. So uh, <laughs> you know, the fact of the matter is he's 90 years young, uh, and it, it's sort of like a culmination of, of, of just where the space program is going with more individuals being allowed to fly. Of course, he is a guest on this flight, as is the vice president over Blue Origin on this flight. The other two are paying customers. But even the paying customers are paying less than, than many thought they would be, little more than a year ago at this time. How much? Uh, we're told it's around $250,000 each. Uh, so for a 10-minute flight, that works out to about twenty-five grand. <laughs> A minute, a lot. But, but again, uh, that 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 is a sign of, of, of the demand that's out there right now, and the supply of people who, who want to participate here. It's spreading out, and the costs are going down. See, they, see, see how Cavuto does that supply and demand. There would, you go. Gonna, it's all economics. <laughs> Massimino, we're going to talk about transitory definitions <laughs> with you. We're going to get a twofer <laughs> from him. Uh, Mike, you were with us back in July, July 20th. They had the first big liftoff. It was symbolic, I would argue. It was cool. Right. Uh, Wally Funk was on board. She was 82. I, I, a couple of days later, she said she was kind of disappointed. Um, <laughs> I would not be. I'd love to do this, Mike. What do we expect today? Well, I, uh, and, and Bill, I hope you get a chance to do it, and Neil as well. And it's opening. I think one thing we're seeing is it is opening it up to more and more people, and you don't need to be in very young or in great shape to be well enough to, to get on the rocket ship. But I think today we will see more of the same. I think it's interesting that. Uh, William Shatner, who has, because he is on the, the flight, has uh, created a lot of interest and publicity for it. But I think we'll see some of what we saw last time. You know, they'll, they'll get on board, they'll launch, there'll be some pretty good camera images, I would think, from on board of them floating around and enjoying the view, and then they'll come back and tell us what it was like. So I think it's kind of a you know, kind of a, a, a version two of what we saw uh, uh, back in July. Mike, they're they're on about a 20-minute hold right now. Uh, what are they? What all are the considerations that go into that? Yeah, I, I don't I don't know, Dana. You know, we can guess, and then we'll find out that we guess incorrectly. But if I was going to guess, I would think it's maybe something to do with uh, just getting people settled. Maybe they got a little bit laid out the door for after breakfast this morning. It could be something as simple as that. It could be something more serious where they're checking some of the systems. It could be a weather condition where they're a little concerned about the winds. Uh, if they have to, you know, they have to protect not only for the launch and the planned recovery, but also for abort scenarios. So all of that has to work, and maybe they're waiting for some clearances on that. Those are typically the things that it is. Just you know, it's something to do with the system, something to do with the weather. Or they're just being a, you know, a little bit slow and deliberate about things. May I ask just but a question I, of, I, I for so, from someone yeah. who, who doesn't know a lot, like, can you eat breakfast? Before you go into space like this, that's a really good. That's a really great question, Dana. What they told us is, you know, don't don't eat anything that you don't want to see later. <laughs> you gotta, that was, but we were going to be in weightlessness for a while, and you know, it takes at least a few minutes for that nausea to set in. So I think they're probably okay. It's always good to have something yeah. in your stomach, though. But you want to be. I see. You want to be maybe a little careful on launch. It's a great answer, Mike. Uh, this was delayed, Neil, by a day because of weather right. conditions. The wind was an issue out there, et cetera. Get, get back to the novelty of today. You had Shatner on the other day, right? I mean, right. he's 90. He's incredible. He's, he's, he's a vibrant guy. Absolutely. Uh, he just here's a clip from your conversation with him. William Shatner this week on Fox. I'm going to look out the window, Neil. <laughs> I'm going to see the vastness of space and the fragility of the earth and I'm going to continue that theme uh, in my thinking and in my, my work. Wow, that's great stuff. In another interview he said, I'm going to look out the window and hope nobody looks back at me on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Twilight Zone episode. Yeah, great right? line. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about your conversation with him? Well, he's just a remarkable guy. And, uh, you know, Mike, of course, is a, a great astronaut. I, I, as an Italian-American, I'm proud of Mike. He's done a lot for my people. Uh, but there's got to be something in Mike that just, because he trained hard for that, to be an astronaut. There's a whole, mm. you know, brotherhood, sisterhood to that honor. Uh, and these people are just <laughs> waltzing on. <laughs> I'm not anything critical about it, but, uh, you know, there, there, there is sort of now this widening pool of potential candidates where, where anyone, you know, can be considered or be invited by Jeff Bezos or Richard Branson and Virgin Galactic. By the way, we're told that Chatner had turned down uh, an invite from Richard Branson to fly in his uh, Virgin uh -huh. Galactic. Um, he said he just thought that, that maybe Bezos was a better wow. fit. I don't know he the whole be, details of it. He must be getting more shares of Amazon. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you're exactly right about the ease by which they're going. I think the last crew showed up the day before. Yeah. Yeah. It's just amazing. Next, and, and, next and, thing you know, you'll just need to be there an hour and a half before the flight. <laughs> fine, fine. Uh, you know what's interesting, though, and you think what uh, people like Mike went through and all of this, I mean, it's a rigorous process and all. The only thing, and, and, and all kidding aside, is that we should never take this cavalierly or lightly. Going into space is not like taking a jet blue flight. There are a lot of, a lot of risks to it. Uh, we're sort of seeing and getting used to this now, which is all well and good. But the fact of the matter is, it's still dangerous there. And, and uh, yeah. you know, we have to keep that in mind. And to, to your point earlier, Bill, about what might prompt a delay and all of that stuff, uh, it could be winds, it could be something in the capsule, it could be something simple, as Mike pointed out, just getting, you know, all, all seated and ready. Uh, but time is going to be tight on this mission. As I said, it's a 10 minute mission. You have about four minutes of weightlessness. If that were me, just getting out of the seat occupies the four <laughs> minutes. So, you know, you really want to, treasure this moment for the, the very few yeah. brief moments you're going to have. Yeah. Great to see you. Same uh, here. You on standby. Massimino, that means you too, okay? Absolutely. You two Italians. There we go. Two we will Italians. come back. All right. <laughs> Thank you, guys.